Hey, I am going to go over how to create a David Hockney collage using the photographs that I took at the dock pond. As you can see, I just finished up the panoramic image. So the Hockney is a little bit more sloppy, I guess you would say. Um, what I'm going to do first, the first thing I do is I create a new file. So I go file new. I then create a document that is 11 by 14. So I can also decide whether I want a portrait, so a vertical or a horizontal one. I think I want a horizontal one, which would mean the width would be wider than the height. So the width will be 14, the height will be 11, the resolution will be 300. So this is kind of the canvas, we'll say, that's we're going to use for our photograph. So create in the white background. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a whole bunch of pictures that I took at the duck pond, and I'm literally just taking one, placing it, and taking another, placing it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So file open. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so it's a little easy for me. I'm just going to do the same thing that I've done before where I grab a whole bunch of them. I think what I will do um, is I'll grab a go command click, command click, command click. And so these will all, if I'm not mistaken, open up as separate files. But I'm opening all of these up. So as you can see, one is going on top of the other and they're just opening up and opening it up and opening it up. And I'm, I have no idea what to expect to tell you the absolute truth. So let's take the first picture and I'm going to drag it down so that I have the photograph on the bottom right hand side, my blank canvas on the left, and then I take the move tool and I take the middle of this picture and I scooch it by pressing using my mouse pad, my mouse, and I kind of click and hold. From there, I go edit, transform, scale, and I press the shift button to keep the proportions correct. And I'm gonna shift, and I'm gonna scooch this where I think it goes, I believe, I think if I'm not mistaken it was kind of the top left uh, I really don't remember so we'll see I can always rearrange it by figuring out what layer it's on all right so then I take the next one and I scooch it down oh it's the same picture never mind all right I take the next one I scooch it down oh there's the bell and then I take the Move tool, scooch it to the picture, go edit, transform, scale, press the shift key again. So as before, you're not skewing anything and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. It's okay if it overlaps some, the messier, the better, I think sometimes, because otherwise it's like, well, it just looks like a panoramic. So I'm going to put this on top of the other one. A little messy, but I think it kind of looks cool. All right. And I'm literally doing this for the next one. So as you, so again, I take it from the title. I scooch it to the bottom. I use the move tool. And I think this kind of goes towards the center. Move the move tool. I press the, sh I move it over. I press the shift button and go edit, transform, scale. I press the shift button and I think this will go kind of down a little bit. So I'm pressing the shift button and I'm moving it down a little bit. Ooh, looks kind of groovy. Um, yeah. And so I'm going to do that with all of these. We'll put this on pause and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so here is the final product. I think I might kind of scooch around a few things, maybe um, move one layer up. Uh, just know 
that you do have to be on the specific layer to move it around. The other thing, you can place one layer on top of the other by kind of dragging it up, which is kind of cool. Um, maybe the layer that you have on one side would look better on top of another one. So you just kind of drag it up, uh, I think. So it's kind of an experiment. Some of it, if I were to do this again, I would probably have a picture of a duck much bigger. But this is what it looks like. Um, kind of used rule of thirds, but again, there's really no big point of interest other than this big, huge thing I had. But you get the idea. I used at least 10 photographs. Uh, from here, what I'm going to do is I can also, if I want to kind of make it really funky, I can play around with individual layers and say, I think I want this to look really groovy and have one layer be lighter or darker than another. I can also merge all the layers and then from there kind of switch it. I can also take a layer, let's do layer nine, and I can do all sorts of things. I can warp it. So I go to transform warp and then let's see what it looks like. If I, if I go like this, what, what is that? I am warping this and making it into what I want it to look like. That looks kind of groovy. So literally the sky is the limit. I actually, to be totally honest, I don't like how that looks, but just so you know, the option is there and you can move it around to make it look as appealing as you want. It looks kind of wonky. I kind of dig it. All right. So from there I go to layer. I'm going to merge all the visible layers so that this looks like background. I can then again, as always, change hue saturation, make it more saturated. I can go to image adjustment, make it bright, brighter or darker. Add contrast, that actually looks pretty good. If I'm seeing any dirt or dust in the sky, I use what is called the spot healing tool and I click on the areas that I'm seeing dust in the sky to get rid of that. This actually is kind of cool looking. All right. And then from there, I save it as a JPEG. So just as before, last name dash first name, uh, make sure the format is JPEG and then save. Okay. Good luck. I can't wait to see your work.